Around 50 nukes have been lost across the world. Okay, so are they talking about actual warheads, or are they talking about components that could be theoretically used to make nuclear weapons? How did that happen? During the Cold War, the US and the Soviets had ready-to-fire nuclear weapons okay, loaded... it looks like actual warheads. ...submarines and airplanes. At one yep. point, the US had 12 in the air at once. And the more nukes on the move, the higher the chances of losing one. Inevitably, over the years, nukes went missing, mostly due to technical failures and careless mistakes. And this could be just the tip of the iceberg. So a handful have been confirmed to be truly lost due to accidents, like they're saying, with aircraft or submarines. Both the weapons and the materials themselves that could be used to make them are tracked by the International Atomic Energy Agency. This could be an underestimate, but... Probably not by much. Luckily, some have been found. However, recovering them is a huge effort as thousands of square kilometers have to be searched. These new cunts can go on for years and cost more than a moon That's mission, expensive. and there's no guarantee of success. <laughs> Today, the US... Now, just because it's missing, that doesn't necessarily mean it's dangerous. It could be unarmed, which means it just can't detonate. It could be heavily degraded, corroded in seawater, which it's inert. It can also be missing some of its highly enriched uranium or plutonium. In that case, it's just a fancy shell. ...is missing six nukes. The detonation of just one could have catastrophic consequences. That's unlikely, but sure. Are multiple safety mechanisms designed to prevent this, but the best way to stop it... That's true. There's electronic locks that require precise codes. This from happening is to reduce the number of nukes altogether. That's a whole different topic. That's a bit like saying the best way to reduce skiing accidents is to not ski. But nowadays, there are international treaties with safeguards that allow inspections. There's nuclear forensics that involve the analysis of isotopic ratios to fingerprint them. There's containment systems such as tamper-proof seals and surveillance. Nuclear arms race on the cards. These incidents would only get more likely.